this one is about normal quality. Let me just turn on this one. I just want to check on that side. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'm just going to give you a couple of instructions. Just taking the back of your eye, making sure the blood vessels are. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm really excited for tonight's video, but let me just take one minute to thank our sponsors for this evening, Harry's. Now this next part might be more for the guys, the gentlemen in the audience, but ladies keep watching as it is Christmas coming up. You might notice the beard has been trimmed back to a sort of sharp stubble look, and I can credit that to my new Harry's razor kit they were kind enough to send me. So working on YouTube, uh, I'm always quite conscious that it's just my face and the camera in crisp high definition. So making sure the stubble is on point is actually super important. Harry's razors feel great in your hand. They tell me it has a Truman textured grip pattern and weighted core for optimal grip and control. Uh, all I know is when I pick it up, it felt perfect and was much easier to control than the usual generic razors that I would normally buy. They also sent me their shaving gel, which helps the razor glide effortlessly and smoothly over my face. And with natural aloe and cucumber, it leaves it smelling divine. Harry's are very kindly giving you, my viewers, the exact same starter pack that they sent me, which is the razor blade, the shaving gel, and the blade cover worth $13 for only $3 if you use the link in the description. That is a very generous deal. Thank you very much to Harry's for sponsoring tonight's video. Thank you to you for watching it, and I really hope you enjoy it. Mwah. Hi. Hi. How are you? Yeah, I'm okay, thank you. Good. So, I understand today we're going to be following up on a uh, prior head injury. Mm -hmm. So, so it was about a month ago, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Uh, how have you been getting on with it? Um, so, I've had some more symptoms. Mm -hmm. um, the headaches have got worse. Right, okay. Um, and I'm struggling to sleep even though I am quite tired. Okay. Um, struggling to concentrate on things. So, so that was uh, an issue last time, so that's yeah. not quite up. No. Okay. All right, well, uh, we'll address that. We'll have a look over the injury, make sure that it's healing um, properly, as we'd hoped it is. Uh, do some neurological tests, mm -hmm. see what the issue is there with the concentration, um, hopefully get to the bottom of that. Okay. And roughly follow our head, eyes, is nose, throat exam. We should just check over everything. Okay. Make sure that you're all okay elsewhere. Does that sound all good? Yeah. Um, something I forgot to mention was my vision as well. A little bit. Okay. Well, blurred we'll, vision. Okay, well, we've got some eye chairs, but I'll put a note there to focus in on that. Okay. Do your vitals now. That's okay. I'm going to start with your uh, uh, heart rate. I'm just going to feel around for your pulse around here, you do this the old fashioned way, that's okay. Just try and breathe normally and relax. I'm just going to count 30 seconds now. Okay. Very good. Okay, lovely. I'm just going to do the same on your wrist. Either wrist doesn't really matter. Just going to feel around here, feel all your pulse to make sure you're alive. There it is. Got it. Okay, same again. Just try and breathe normally and relax. Exercise in, maybe you can. Yeah, I'm not doing that much at the moment. No, okay. Um, well, it hasn't changed your resting heart rate significantly, so that's fine. Try and get some in if you can, though. I do walk a lot. Yeah, walking is fine. Anything low impact is absolutely fine. I walk. It's my step on there. there. Um, let's do temperature. 
Do you feel normal temperature since the uh, incident? You don't mm. feel hot, cold? No, I feel normal. Okay, that's fine. So this just goes under your tongue. Just gonna turn it on here. You just wait, and then it's gonna be okay. Okay. So just lift up your tongue if you could. Just gonna place this here. Wait for it to do its thing. Thirty five point nine. Um, thirty five point nine. That's very normal. Um, okay, let's do your blood pressure. Do you have high blood pressure? I usually have quite low blood pressure. Low blood pressure, okay. Yeah. This is just gonna go over your arm. Okay. Either one doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna slide this on here. There we go. Okay, so just gonna need your participation for this bit. Mm -hmm. If you could just hold this on your arm, there we go, very good. It's like you've done this before. I'm just gonna pump this up now. Just let me know if it's too too tiny. Needs to be fairly tiny. Feel okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just gonna listen here and release this. There we go, that's fine. Let's go pop this right here. Is it normal? It is, yeah, it's a little bit long, but we did address that already. Still within normal range. Um, get any lightheadedness, anything like that? Mm, when I get up sometimes. Okay, that's probably to do with that, or it could be to do with that at least. Lightheadedness is associated with over pressure. Have you had any kind of uh, cold, anything that might disturb your breathing? You don't smoke, I don't think. No, I did have like, my nose was a bit bunged up um, a few weeks ago, but it's fine now. Okay. If you could just push your head up like that. <sighs> Hopefully this isn't too cold. Right, I'm just going to ask you to breathe normally and I'm going to feel at various points over your chest and just give you some instructions on the breathing. So if you can try and do it four seconds in. Two seconds hold, and then four seconds on okay. the exhale. Okay, I'm just gonna feel them here. So four seconds in, hold it for a couple, and then breathe out. Very good. Same again. And uh, breathe out. Good. One more time. Okay, and this time just cough when you breathe in. So, baby breath in. A little cough. <coughs> Once again. <coughs> One more time. <coughs> cool. Okay, I'm just gonna go on the back here. Yeah? So, if you could just move your hair forward then. Good. And same thing again. Baby breath in. I'm just gonna feel the various points over your chest. Okay, that's good. Yeah. And cough on this next one. <coughs> one more time. <coughs> and again. <coughs> okay, that's fine. All good. I feel like seeing completely normal. Check the area around the head now. Gonna check. 
check whether you had on your facial muscles as well. Which side was it on? Right or the left? This side. Okay. Yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna gently feel on here and press. It doesn't seem to be too round, which is good. It's a little bit tender. Yeah. Not expect that to be honest. And the skin seems about normal quality. I'm just turn this way. Just want to turn that side. Yeah, that's fine. It's going to press at various points. You just let me know where it's tender, okay? Yeah, that's fine on that side. Good. Just gently turn this way. Just gonna check around here. There, there. Around here, okay. Okay. Nothing on here. I mean, it kind of sensitive in that whole area. Around here. Yeah. Okay. Nothing on the back area? Only, only as you're like, just sitting. Yeah. Okay. Alright, I'm just going to check your facial sensation now. So if you just close your eyes. Just going to gently press around these uh, various different places. Okay, I'm just letting me know if it's sensitive. Okay, here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just raise your eyebrows and the front. Okay. And just clench your jaw. Okay, and swallow. Okay, just suck in your cheeks. Um, mm. There we go. And puff them up. Good, okay. Just gonna check right here. No sensitivity. Uh, it's actually a little bit sensitive. On um, which side? Both sides. Both sides, okay. I might be a bit front. They do feel slightly sore. Could you just turn your head this way? Thank you. Just gonna feel my thing. Can you just stop me if there's any place that I'm comfortable or painful? It's all fine. Turn around here. Okay. Same on this side. Just come around here. Any pain? No. That's good. Okay. Just move your heart away. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm not too concerned about the injury area. Sensitivity seems normal for an injury. Um, I'm a little more concerned about the lack of concentration and the headaches, but I would expect some of those. Maybe the concentration would have probably come back by now. Mm -hmm. so, uh, have you got any kind of particular stress in your life at the moment? It's more so than usual because that could be exasperating it a little bit. Um, I mean, work's a bit stressful, but. Um, is it not? Yeah, I wouldn't say it was more stressful than normal. Okay, alright. Before I move on to the eye test, I'm just going to have another look uh, over your injury area and just under the on the UV setting. So just pop your head down if you could. Oh, this is great. It's fine. Got quite dense hair, so just oh, trying to just trying to pass it and get underneath. It doesn't seem particularly swollen when compared to the other side. So if it's a little bit sensitive. Um, 
Hmm. It's quite hard to get cream onto injuries that are on the back of the head because they're under so much hair, but... I do it every time I wash my hair. Um, yeah. And in the mornings I make sure it's like not bleeding or anything. You might get a bit of bleeding because it's going to try and scab over, but obviously when you wash your hair you're going to dislodge some of that, so you might get a little bit of... Uh, obviously excess bleeding, call 999, because that's bad. Okay. But a little bit in the shower should just be... It, it was stinging when I shampooed and now that stopped, so I thought maybe it healed a bit. Yeah, it's going to keep healing and then you're going to dislodge it when you uh, wash your hair, but obviously it's better that your hair's clean, because if it's uh, greasy or dirty then that's going to get into the wound, mm -hmm. which is not good. So just keep cleaning your hair as normal. Uh, if it's really stinging, we can give you some shampoo with less alcohol content and less sort of uh, chemicals. Mm -hmm. Or just try and buy natural shampoo if you can, if it just says it's got natural ingredients, um, it's probably better. Okay. Mm, seems fine. Maybe a little bit on the piggy looking side, but... Okay. Mm. I'm going to try some neurological tests now. It's basically just like vision. Um, make sure that your brain is working properly. Okay. okay. First things first, if you just keep your head still and look at the light, and then just follow it only with your eyes, okay? So it's quite bright. I apologize. Look at it. There seem to be any issues with tracking there. Sorry if it's too bright, you. Yeah. My eyes twitching now. <laughs> More than welcome to blink. You're gonna love the next lesson if this is too bright. <laughs> Seems fine. Just gonna ask you to cover up one of your eyes, doesn't matter which. Just gonna check how I'm moving individually. Same thing again, just look here. Doing well so far. Any issues there? No, I'm just getting a bit of a headache. I apologize. Take a few seconds just to blink. Let me take that. Just switch if you can. Brilliant. Sorry, just look here again. Okay. And then over here. Very, very good. You do more. No issues there. Okay. Just blink a few times. Um, Alright. Take this off you just for one second. You can just look at me and just make a dividing line with your hand like this. Okay. Again, I'm going to be flashing the light in your eye. This one shouldn't be as bright. Okay. Just keep looking. Sorry. Forward. It's okay. It's uh, really tempting to just look at the light. Good. Do more. Right, so on this side. Check any consensual and direct response. It's quite bright in here, so. But I can see that it's dilating as it should be, which is fantastic. Okay, that's good. Okay, so. If you could cover one eye again, you can be getting quite close with the light now. If you can just look off, sort of at a point in the distance, that's great. I'm just going to lift up the top of your eyelid. Okay, I'm just going to give you a couple of instructions. Just taking the back of your eye, making sure the blood vessels are uh, not inflamed or red. Okay, if you can just look up and down. Good, and 
the left, and to the right, back to the center, and then just directly at the light if you could for a second. Good, okay. Just gonna do the same with this side. If you just again look over there. That's good. So I'm just gonna reach out and gently lift up your top lid. Go up, go up, go up, and down. Look to the left, and to the right. Back to the center. Okay, but for us, we watch. Nice and healthy. If you can just look up and left. Right, up and right. Good. Down left, down right, and back to the center. Good, okay. Back of your eyes looks normal, healthy. Oh, yeah. Just blink a few times. How's the headache? Is this the one? Yeah, I've got a bit of twitchy eye now. <sighs> okay, we'll I'll give you some pain meds for that. Um, I'm afraid that's going to be something that's just going to go away in time. Okay. It shouldn't persist longer than about two weeks, but it is a head injury. <laughs> it tends to give you headaches, sadly. Okay. Okay. Um, just look at the paddle. Yes, very good. If you could just look here and cover one of your eyes with the paddle, that's very good. All right, now, if you can just stay looking at me. Don't look at my hands, but if you can tell me how many fingers I'm holding up, okay? Alright, ready? So don't look at my hands, okay? Two. Good. Five. Mm -hmm. Four. Mm -hmm. One. Good. Two. Three. Five. Good. Five. Mm -hmm. Three. I'll be a blind spot. Is this one? No. That'll be your blind spot. I'll take right here. <laughs> okay. Speaking of blind spot, actually, we'll do the other side first. I need to switch. There we go. Other hand. Just looking here. Mm -hmm. Very good. Same thing again. Three. Three. Two. Three. Four. Five. Five. Mm hmm. Two, mm -hmm. three, very good. Yeah. Five. Last thing, just over here. Great. Just uh, blink a few times. Very good. Okay. Uh, now I'm gonna have you look here again, and I'm gonna move my hand out of your uh, vision, and just tell me when it disappears, mm -hmm. and then reappears. Okay. I should just tell me where your blind spot is, but I think I've got a pretty good idea of that already. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so either way, it doesn't matter. Just cover one of them. That's good. Okay, just looking here, and we move this out. So just tell me when it disappears. No. Okay, now it reappears. No. Okay, same thing down here. No. Okay, and reappears here. No. Okay, and a bit. No. Yeah. Cool. And then same thing over this side, but keep covering that mm -hmm. eye, okay? Just gonna check your peripheral vision over here. Something when it disappears. No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And reappears. No. Okay. Same thing down here. No. Okay. And up here. No. Okay. And reappears here. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. Just switch eyes. Feel free to blink a few times. Okay, ready? Keep it just looking here. So just let me know when it disappears out of the side of your peripheral vision. No. Okay. No. no. Same thing down here. No. Okay, and we here. No. Okay, and same thing up there. 
They seem fine, they seem slightly behind what I'd expect, but you did report lack of concentration, so that, that follows through. Um, how has your hearing been? I feel like before the injury I always struggled to hear sometimes, so I wouldn't say that's changed. I thought you were going to say after it suddenly improved, or that would be a miracle, <laughs> that's good. So it's, it's not anything brought on by... The, uh, the injury then. Alright, well we'll check then. Actually I'm gonna just, if you don't mind, clean your ears first before I pop the uh, light in there. This is just an alcohol swab. I'll stop with this one as it's closest to me. Yeah, if you could just move your hand out of the way that would be great. Thank you. Gently clean the inside of your ear. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna pop that to one side. Just gonna do the other side as well. There we go. If you can just turn to face me, that's great. Just gonna move your hair out of the way. Just going gently around here, that's good. Smooth the sanitized, which is all good. Good, and I'm also gonna just clean the end with the other side. Make sure that's nice and sanitized. And I'm gonna have a look inside of your ears just before I check your hearing. Start with this one first. Okay. It, it, it kind of looks nice and clear. I'm not to hurt you with this, just let me know if it's uncomfortable. That's fine. Okay. No, they don't look congested, which is good. Um, you said you struggle with hearing. Mm. Hmm. And considered a hearing aid? I feel a bit young for one of those. Um, I probably should go and get my ears tested. Yeah. I mean, just having not perfect hearing is not the worst thing, but it depends how much it affects your daily life. Sometimes, um, if I can't see people talking, I struggle to understand more. Hmm, okay. It sounds like it might be sort of slightly worse than just a normal, um, well, an acceptable level. Mm, looks fine, it's not congested either on this side. Okay. How long ago was the uh, cold illness, whatever it was? Oh, like two weeks ago. Oh, so it's really recent then. Mm. Okay. Well, no, I think that's okay. Alright, so, quick hearing test, if you can just look around this way. I am going to hold my gloves either side of your ears. I'm going to ask you to close your eyes so you can't see them. Mm -hmm. And then just say which side is uh, is rustling, okay? It's quite simple, so eyes closed. I'm going to hold them at various distances as well. Ready? So just say left or right. Right. Left. Both. Mm-hmm. Left. Left. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Left. Left. Right. Both. Okay, good. Both. Both. Good. Sticking with the hearing exam, this is a uh, tuning fork. I'm just going to check your ability to hear frequencies, mainly high frequencies. Uh, so I'm going to ping it, I'm going to hold it about here, various distances, and you say when you can't hear it anymore. Okay. Okay, doesn't really require you to have your eyes closed for this, so feel free to keep them open. Okay. 
Uh -huh. So you just say when the sound dies, all right? No. Okay. No. Okay, it doesn't seem that bad. If it was short and now, I'd say you probably got an issue, but it seems reasonable. Okay, same thing over here. No. Okay. No. Okay. It's fine. It's usually with like people talking that oh, I yeah. struggle to understand. That's in the uh, mid high range. So you've got bass, mids, high, so people talk around. Somewhere between mid and high. But um, it's usually the higher frequency range that people have issues with mm -hmm. or the bass is the last thing to go that's why people sound muffled because there's no uh, definition in it um, seems the same as last time to be honest okay. so, and it also seems the same with your test pre-injury uh, normal checkup levels there okay any issues with smell? No. So it wasn't COVID then? No. Okay, that can affect people's uh, sense of smell. But really easy to on this one. I'm just going to uh, put these bottles close to your nose and then they're all just normal sort of um, okay. scents. And you just tell me what they are, okay? Don't worry, there's no really sort of uh, obscure... Uh, obscure um, smells. Just gonna pop this here and just breathe in. Orange. Okay, easy. Very good. I've only got a few of these, don't worry. Same thing on this one. I'm just gonna open the bottle so that should be enough. Can you smell that? Watermelon. Something like that, something citrusy. And put a couple more of these. Try this one. Oh, peppermint. Mm -hmm. Two more. Doesn't seem like you've got any issues with smells, but we might as well do them all. There we go. Uh, is it lavender or cam? I think it's lavender. I think it's lavender too. Should probably label these. Uh, last one. This one's really easy. Apple. Great. And that seems... Uh, um, oh, five out of five. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to check around the uh, muscles here. Uh, and the, I'm going to have you sort of push against me and just check the uh, mm -hmm. muscle strength is all working. You don't feel any fatigue or sort of weakness, do you, in this mm, area? Not in my muscles, no. Okay, so I'm just going to start by asking if sensations feel the same in both sides, okay? So I'm going to start from the top of your head and I'm just going to go down to your arms, all right? So you can have your eyes open or close with this, whichever feels more comfortable. But does this feel the same on this side as this? Mm -hmm. And here and here, okay, here and mm -hmm. here, yeah, okay, here and here, mm -hmm. here and here, mm -hmm. and here and here, mm -hmm. here and here, mm -hmm. here and here, yeah, here and here, yeah, good, here and here, yeah, here and here. Just sticking with this one, keeping your eyes closed. So this is the, we'll call this the blunt side. And we'll call this the uh, sharp side, okay? So just a brush. I'm gonna put this at various points on your face and you just say uh, blunt or sharp, okay? So it's just checking the, the uh, 
facial sensation is okay. So, yeah. Sharp. Yeah. Blunt. Mm -hmm. Sharp. Blunt. Mm -hmm. Blunt. Sharp. Mm -hmm. Sharp. Blunt. Mm -hmm. Blunt. Mm -hmm. Sharp. Very good. Sharp. And as best you can Sharp. Apply. Good. Over here. Blunt. Yeah. And just a... Sharp. Yeah, it was. Well done. I think that's pretty much everything. So besides what you're already taking, the only thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to give you uh, some sulpidine, which is a day medication. This is uh, codeine, paracetamol, and uh, caffeine. So it should just help you in the daytime. And then I'm going to give you a night one, which should help with the sleeping. And this is going to make you drowsy. Both of them are uh, pain meds, so they both contain codeine. Okay. But that's a little bit stronger than paracetamol. Um, if that persists, then I'll put you on some tramadol. If that persists, then um, you might want to come back in and that might be a more uh, prevalent problem than just pain medication or treat. But okay. Any further concerns? I think we've got most of that today. And yeah, no, that's everything, I think. Everything interesting? All right, well, let's check up in two weeks. Okay. If um, we'll see how you get on with that, okay? Okay. Cool, we'll just give this in a reception. This is your prescription. So I'll give you that. All good? Yeah. Brilliant. Thank, Thank you. you for coming in. Thanks Thank very you. much. I'll see you in two weeks.